Oh no, Carla graduated with honors. She didn't get valedictorian. Well, that means I'm going to have to reboot this and not save it <laughs> because I wanted valedictorian. How could she not get valedictorian? Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to complete all the aspirations, max all the skills, get top level in every career, earn all the degrees, and do everything else you can do with a single sim. Carla is actually working on getting a new foal because the ultimate horse competition has proved to be difficult. So we have a new horse, Lightning. And since our other horse, Tornado, is a championship horse, hopefully if we have a baby with Lightning and Tornado, then we will actually get a horse that stands a better chance of winning the ultimate horse competition. Now, unfortunately, that means we need to start all over with training, which is not ideal. So in the meantime, we will also be having Tornado. Well, no, if Tornado's pregnant, she can't do it. But if she has the foal before Saturday, then she can participate in the ultimate horse competition. And then Butterscotch also can participate, but we need to get Butterscotch's temperament up to par. Also, I am giving up on the high school cheerleading competition. So basically, we are going to age Carla up. And we could actually do university as a teenager, but I would have to graduate early. And I want Carla to get valedictorian which is better than graduating early for career bonuses. So that means we will probably have to deal with burnout. Now, burnout has not been an issue as a teenager, and my guess is that teenagers can't get burnout. So I'm hoping that she can get it as an adult because that is a milestone and she has not been able to do it so far. Okay, so Butterscotch is now temperament level 10. And we have two horses that could potentially win the ultimate horse competition. And we're expecting a foal. Did I get a new butler? Why? Okay, he loves the outdoors. He's a foodie and a bro. That's fine. I guess he's not a kleptomaniac or a recycled disciple. Those are the two traits that are off limits for butlers and any other people who are staying at my home. Why is there a horse poop in the dog food? Um, well, we don't have a dog or a cat anymore, so I probably should get rid of that. All right, let's have a birthday party for Carla. Should we invite Stephanie? We kind of agreed to go out with her, uh, but she's a vampire. I guess we'll invite her. Hopefully she doesn't burn in the sun. We'll invite Carla Eternal Jr. Maybe Agnes Crumplebottom, because she's our best friend from childhood. Rhonda, not Stuart, Gabriel, and then Renee Barron Jr. Maybe we'll invite Jackson over and just see if Gabriel and Jackson get along. Carla is not really good friends with anyone else. Well, she's good friends with these people, but I don't really remember who they are. I guess I'll invite them just because she's good friends with them. And we'll have the party at 9 a.m. at the house. I mean, because I just don't feel like going anywhere else and making sure that it has all the things I need. All right, let's make a cake. Because I know how Sims don't like to make cakes. It's really hard sometimes to get your caterer at the birthday party to actually make a cake and put candles on it. Because they'll start something and then not finish it usually. So I'm going to have a pre-baked cake prepped. And besides, Carla wants a zombie cake. She can't have a normal cake for her birthday. Now, I wish I could invite her mother and Ghidri and uh, what's her name? Ghidri's wife. I, I forget her name now. <laughs> but I wish I could invite all those people. But unfortunately, Carla doesn't know them. And I didn't take the time to introduce them to her. So, yeah, we can't invite them. We'll just invite a lot of her teenage friends because what teenager would invite their mother to their birthday party? Oh, no. How did you get in here? I guess horses don't count as pets. 
okay, we need to lock the door for all horses because apparently they don't count as pets. Okay, let's start the birthday party. I would allow the horses in the house, but they tend to pee on the rug and they also tend to get stuck in the house if I try to ride them and then try to go out of the house. They can't do that. They have to be outside the house to have a rider. The only problem is butterscotch. I forgot butterscotch is a ghost horse. And so doors do not apply to her as well as locks on doors. So unfortunately, butterscotch is the only one that is allowed inside. Okay, I learned my lesson from last time. I'm not going to have everyone gather around for the cake because there's just too many people. I have double checked the website and we have done everything that we need to do for a teenager that can be possibly done without, you know, stuff conflicting. And anything else that she needs to do can be done as an adult or older. And so the only thing I need to do is to pick a third trait. Um, we have overachiever and geek. What would be another trait that would be best for Carla? Happy birthday, Carla. She got the candles out first try. All right. So, oh, I forgot to double check her. Oh, no, that could have been um, not good. I didn't see if she got all of her reward traits from her uh, childhood training. I, I The childhood uh, traits, I can't remember what they're called now. Um, but anyway, we're going to make her a kleptomaniac only because that gives her a extra ability, which I don't think you can get this trait just by doing things as an adult. So she is a mediator. Uh, and she has emotional control. She's compassionate, good manners, and responsible. Okay, so we did get them all. She got all five of the reward traits for being a good child and teenager. Okay, the other thing I forgot is that last time I think I picked a knowledge aspiration. So she got the bonus trait of quick learner. But when she becomes a teen, you have the opportunity to pick a different one. Um, Maybe we'll pick the love one to be more successful at romance or gregarious build friendly relationships faster i don't think actually any of those matter because she has the ability to be instant besties with someone yeah i really don't see any of them that make sense except for maybe the deviance one being dastardly and hear me out on this Almost everything in the game that involves being romantic or friendly has a possible bonus that you can almost always succeed at it. However, there's not a lot of things in the game that give you a bonus to mean interactions. And I don't know what it means for a mean interaction to be successful versus failing. I mean, I guess you can throw a drink in someone's face and actually uh, the drink doesn't come out but I, I think it's still a negative interaction so I don't know what benefit you get from your successful mean interactions versus an unsuccessful mean interaction but we're going to pick that one. Oh no Carla graduated with honors she didn't get valedictorian well that means I'm going to have to reboot this and not save it <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted valedictorian. How could she not get valedictorian? I mean, her performance bar was max. How did she not get valedictorian? Okay, this time our butler is cringe, paranoid, and a horse lover. Okay. So we're just doing our homework here. Maybe because she never did her homework or never studied for her exams and she just took vacation days. She didn't get back valedictorian for that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to level up our archaeology skill because that's one of the skills that we learn in class and we have a level four right now. We did our homework, we did our extra credit, 
we studied for the exam until we can't study anymore. And we're going to go to school, but not follow Carla on Monday. We're going to send her alone and then work hard at school and have everything complete. And we'll try aging her up after Monday, but if that doesn't work, we'll just reset again and try every day aging her up until she gets valedictorian. We have to get valedictorian because the other one, which is graduated with honors, is not as good. And this one is just so much better. And what I have found with the skills is they won't get you maxed to level 10. So what you can do actually is make sure that you're a little bit less than level nine and then read the last book while you're very focused and have a whole bunch of buffs that increase your skill gain. And she will keep reading the book and keep right gaining skill until she finishes the book. And it might be enough to get level 10, even though you're not supposed to be able to get level 10 just by reading. You're supposed to actually have to do the skill in order to get level 10. But since she's not done reading the book, her skill keeps going. Yep, and we max the skill. So yeah, um, that's a little cheat. And it works with herbology too, because it's really hard to get herbology up to level 10 unless you have someone to basically do your uh, bug collecting for you or an herb collecting, or maybe you could plant the herbs and then duplicate the bugs with duplicado if you're a spellcaster, but it's just easier, I think, to read and get the skill. And then if you want to actually make a potion, make the potion and use duplicado. Okay, we're going to send Carla alone and study hard, Carla. Running the class, the teacher has to step out for a second to talk to a parent. She asks Carla to run the class for a little while. Should Carla keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy with the classmates? Follow the plan because we want valedictorian. We're not doing fun stuff. It was going to be a quiet working day anyway, and Carla's classmates barely noticed the difference. It's not like she's lecturing them on the periodic table or anything. Okay, she got a small performance gain. I don't know if it matters if I get performance gains or not, because to be honest, my okay. performance is the max that it can possibly be. Should Carla invite over classmate Carla? I guess it means Carla Jr. Okay, fine. Okay, it says Carla has returned from school. She's one of the top students at Copperdale High School. Keep up the good work. I think if you get that message, she's one of the top students, that when she ages up, she probably will get valedictorian. I don't know. Toronto. Yes, Carla Jr. is here. All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to attend cheer practice because if I don't go to cheerleading, my responsibility will fall out of range and we're going to practice hard. And then when we come home, we'll schedule our party. Team practice. Just like that, a fight breaks out in the middle of practice between two teammates. Hard to say if it was instigated from the heat of the sport or something to do with social media drama. Regardless of the logic or reason, the fight is starting to get good and folks quickly gathering around them. Um, cheer them on or calm them down. Eh, let's just go ahead and cheer them on. Yeah, we got a small team performance loss. A fight is a fight and it's much more entertaining than practice. Carla joins the others in cheering on the fight and then entertainment beats responsibility. Ability. Hmm. Well, hopefully that did not get a responsibility hit. Eh, if it did, it didn't matter. So yeah, all of our traits are in range. All right, let's see if we can remember who we invited last time. Stephanie, Alicia, Trey, Bristol, Wren. They're all good friends. We're not inviting the butler, at least not as a guest. Carla Jr., Cynthia Young. Rhonda, Agnes, Kayoko, Gabriel, Joy, Stuart, you don't make the list, and Renee. 
Um, that's the ranch hand. We're not inviting him. Okay, I think that's enough, really. 13 people is fine. And we have the party started. Why does the butler keep getting food out of the fridge and then not eating it? It is really strange. He's done that. So I've put like 10 of these back in here. Quit wasting the food. All right. Well, it says to eat food. So what I'm going to do is just put a whole bunch of this food out and call everyone to meal. And they can eat this. I really don't need to do any of the side quests, though. I think if I just have the party that pretty much... It will get gold without doing anything. Okay, now maybe he'll eat. Some, no, he can't eat. for. Some, okay, he's sat down. Hopefully he's eating and he won't get anything else out of the fridge. Hmm, where is everyone else? The only people here are the people who were here before I started the party. Well. <laughs> this party is going to be a dud. Oh, here comes Agnes. Oh, it's because they're like all the way over here. Yeah, it, they're just late showing up or they had to walk a long ways. Okay, they, they zone in probably over here. That's what it is. Hi, Gabriel. I love your party wear, by the way. Oh, Alicia, come inside. I forgot you are a vampire. Well, she's pregnant. She can't die, actually. She, she looks pregnant. I'm not sure if she is. Sometimes Sims can just look pregnant and actually not be. Come on, Alicia. Don't die. Get inside, girl. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. She made it. Don't go outside. What if I call everyone to meal again? Because it seems... Well, I'm not sure if I really want everyone in here. But to be honest, I already got a screenshot of her blowing out the cake. So... It doesn't really matter if I get a screenshot or not. This time, everyone can help Carla celebrate. Ah. Renee, why are you the caterer? Oh, no, that's the the older it's Renee. Horrible. I don't even know her, do I? Okay, well, no, no, no. Let, let's not do cheerful. Let's do besties friendship introduction. Do I even have that one? No, I don't. Okay, well, I don't have the besties one, but I can do a cheerful introduction. Okay, she actually ended up paranoid. That's a terrible trait, but oh well. Okay, Butler, can you start cleaning up, please? Where's the please clean up? Well, you can't tell him to specifically clean something. Why are you wearing a towel? Maybe she was in the bathtub. Sometimes guests will get in the bathtub and take like a a mud bath or something, but I don't remember them ever getting out in a towel. Weird. My butler needs to start cleaning some of these plates. All right, it's the moment of truth. Everyone say happy birthday to Carla. And at this time, she has to take two tries to blow out the candles. All right, again, we are going to make her a kleptomaniac and pick one of the deviance aspirations. And we got mediator, emotional control, compassionate, good manners, and responsible. And we're valedictorian. All right, well, that is the way that you kind of have to cheat the system. So on your last day of school, before you age up, you must go to school without following the teen Make sure they study until they can't study anymore. Do both their homework and extra credit and then work hard all day, even when you have a max A. I, I do know that you have to max the bar. Your performance bar has to be all the way to the right. But I didn't know that that wasn't enough. I read one of the posts on the EA forums and one of the guides there or one of the EA uh, people was saying that you have to study, you have to do your homework, and uh, you have to do your extra credit. They said that you had to be consistent about it, but no, you just have to do it on the last day <laughs> because that's all Carla did. She, did. she didn't do her homework for like weeks and then she did it on the last day. So congratulations, Carla outshone the whole school and graduated as valedictorian. Way to go. She's sure to have a leg up in the working world. The world is her oyster. 
And of course, we got kicked out of teens. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot about that. We earned our diploma and we graduated valedictorian. All right, let's tell everyone to eat the cake. Oh, we actually did not max out the goals just by blowing out. Ah! <laughs> okay, gotta hurry up and save. I lost my power. <laughs> okay, we are back. Sorry about that. I had a little scare because when my power goes out and the battery backup kicks on, my extra monitors turn off, and I didn't know if that was going to screw up my recording. So thankfully it did not. I checked and everything looks like it's fine. All right, so we need to tell some jokes. Maybe we'll tell Agnes. No, Agnes doesn't like comedy. Maybe we'll tell Carla some jokes. I don't want to play musical instruments for an hour, so this might be a bum party, but that's fine. Oh, we can play a game with the birthday sim. Oh, wait, we can ask the butler to play the guitar. Okay, I'm asking him to play the guitar. Okay, is he going to go get it? No, okay. It's because it's stuck in my queue and I need to play this game first. What if I quit the game? Will that automatically uh, play a game? No, I didn't finish the game. Okay, I'll play again. All right. So if he plays guitar, then maybe that will count. Although he's not invited, so it may not count. <laughs> Oh, well, we're just going to get a silver on this. We're not going to get gold. I don't even think we have an hour left. No, we only have 40 minutes left. We need to keep her from talking, though, because if she talks, she won't play. How cute. Agnes is wearing my outfit. I can't even finish this game. It takes too long to play a game of chess. Yeah, we just got silver. All right, that's fine. Oh, look at all the stuff that the caterer left. I hate when they do that. She basically didn't finish any, anything. And then the butler won't clean this up because it's not considered spoiled until it goes off. Uh, there's dirty dishes, butler. Why are you sitting down and reading a book? I guess it's after midnight and you consider your shift done. Oh, Tornado has gone into labor, so we're going to get her full soon. Well, the first thing that we should do probably is enroll into university. And I also want to attend graduation. So I'm not sure how that works because I never attended a graduation before. And I don't know if I can get it without it bugging out. All right, for the scholarships, do not apply for athletics or esports because those two will make your sim have to go to those annoying uh, things like sp soccer games and the esports competition, which, you know, we have to do them eventually, but I don't want to do them at first. So we're going to apply for all of the scholarships except for that one. Actually, to be honest, I'm not quite sure why I'm applying to scholarships. I don't need the money. And then we're going to apply to universities. I'm not sure which one we'll do first. Maybe we'll do Foxbury and we'll just go down the list. Although I do want to get the mixology certificate pretty soon and try and do that job first because it has a little caveat to it. Okay, we have a boy horse and maybe Spartan. Oh, I don't know. I think we have tornado and lightning maybe tornado and lightning could have thunder and thunder got hardy and champion jeans oh that is the most adorable ever the pink hair and then the cow patterned body all right um let's see what else did we get hopefully good traits friendly really energetic and brave well, we did not get intelligent. I wanted intelligent, brave, and energetic, but we got 
friendly, energetic, and brave. Well, it seven days until age up. No, we are aging you up. I'm going to get an age up treat. Where do we get those treats? Because <laughs> we need to start training. Oh, no, wait. If we get temperament up to level four before we age up thunder, then I think you get a special trait for that. I don't remember. Well, temperament goes up pretty fast, at least. Now, technically, I only have three beds here, so Butterscotch is an elder horse. Maybe we should bring her back to life so that she can return to the netherworld. Oh, now that Carla is an adult, we actually need to try to get burnout because what happens is I think the higher skill you are, the less likely you are to burn out. Let's try to do a whole bunch of paintings and see if that creates burnout. It probably won't. I am almost 100% certain though that teenagers cannot burn out. When she was a teenager, she used to practice skills like all day, every day, and never burn out. Carla has been feeling the creative itch these days, so much that Carla's been inspired to become a music lover. Now, I don't think I really want music lover as an extra trait. Hearing of Carla's archaeological renown, the Artifacts Association is sending over some artifacts and is requesting help in identifying their origins. They are promising a huge financial incentive in return for Carla's help. Yeah, we um kind of maxed out our archaeology skill. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but that was part of my trying to gain the best score possible for our high school. And I'm not sure when graduation is. I think maybe it's a Saturday, but we aged up like on a Monday. So... I'm not sure when graduation will be. Uh, no, I know she's feeling really creative, but no, I don't want creative either. I really don't know what I want for her extra traits. I think she really has all of the traits that I want her to have. Geek, kleptomaniac, and overachiever. Maybe she can have the genius one, but... I don't really know of any other ones that would actually be beneficial. I mean, maybe nosy would be beneficial, but only for cl completing that particular aspiration. <laughs> it's like none of them are really beneficial overall. All right, so we're done with the painter extraordinaire, and I don't even have a hint of burnout. All right, which one do I find more annoying? being a vampire or being a werewolf which one should we get rid of first i think we made a lot of progress with the vampire one so maybe we'll do that one just because it will be the quickest to finish it seems like vlad has died again why is Vlad always dead? Why, hello, Vlad. How are you today? Um, Can we get a... I don't have a besties introduction. I have a cheerful introduction. And hopefully Vlad will like me because um, last time I couldn't get him to like me. Oh, wow. They are best friends immediately. Okay, turn me, please. Okay, this time I could find the ask to turn option. Last time I could not find it. So we're about to become a vampire again, which is kind of annoying, but hey, we need to do it eventually. And once we get done with the vampire stuff, we can immediately go to the werewolf stuff and then the spellcaster things, which I think are going to be permanently a spellcaster. So we will do that last. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is write some songs for violin, since we are of the violin skill that we can actually do that. And we're working on the musical genius aspiration. 
No, I do not want to be a perfectionist. That means I take longer to make things. Oh, the most recent song that Carla wrote has reached beyond the stars and has been nominated for an award. Check out the next awards ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if she won. Now, there is a aspiration. World famous celebrity. Okay, maybe it's a master actor. Yeah, receive an award is for the master actor. Yes, there is a degree for acting. So we can't do that one just yet. We'll just continue writing songs. Actually, maybe I should learn guitar because you can license another song as long as it's for a different instrument. All right, now for the university stuff. Okay, the only one that she didn't get was the resident one. And like I said, she really doesn't need any of the scholarships. All right, so which one are we going to do first? We got accepted into probably all of the distinguished degrees. All right, I guess we're going to go down the list. Uh, Brightchester is on the left. So we'll do Brightchester first. And we are only going to do distinguished degrees. So we don't want to do any of the ones that are not distinguished. We will start with art history, which will help us with arts critic, patron of the arts, and trendsetter. We're going to do four classes and at home because we can't do on campus due to the fact that we have horses and we basically have everything for free and that's it. We are now enrolled in university. Time for the grind. First thing you do is your homework. Oh, we don't need the teenage homework. And I really don't need any of these unauthenticated statues. I don't really want to do them right now. Maybe I'll just keep them in my uh, inventory over here. What I don't like, though, is the fact that no one else will vacuum. I cannot get the butler or the maid to do any vacuuming. I probably don't even need to do my homework, but we're going to do it anyway. Also, my butler keeps creating these books, and it's so annoying. My butler is broken. He keeps getting food out and setting it on the table and then not eating it. And then he keeps creating books and leaving them on the table. Or he even put one away in this little um, container thing. And I cannot get it out. Oh, there's two of them in there now. That's so annoying. And he keeps put, they put food in here too. I'm going to have to hide those boxes. I think he's hungry too. I wonder if he's going to starve to death because he's not eating the food that he's taking out. Okay, this time he finally took a bite, even though it's about to spoil. Now, the only problem is Carla is about to become thirsty. And I don't know when she's going to turn into a vampire. And she's about to go to school. That is a little bit inconvenient. But hopefully it doesn't screw up her days at school. It should be fine, though. As long as she doesn't miss the final. I have missed a couple of days of college courses. And as long as your skills are high and you do everything else, you can still get an A. And we're off to class. Okay, we have another class at 1.30 p.m. And since we are about to turn into a vampire, what I might do is try and find some organizations to join. Let's see, the Art Society is at 3 p.m. The Debate Guild is at 8. And the Spirit Corps is also at 3 p.m. on Friday. So basically, you have to go to these events in order to get invites. And it's going to be kind of difficult because I've tried this before and it seems like I never get the invite. What I can also do is give a excellent item 
at the uh, statue. And I think baked goods is a pretty good choice. It has to be an excellent item, though. Let's make some peanut butter cookies. Okay, let's make an offering of academic success. And I didn't realize that we could actually give oh. a death flower. That would have been pretty cool to see if that made very much of a, dif of a difference. But I think that the cookies will be fine. And we're looking for the buff that says that the spirits are pleased or something of that effect. Yeah, Carla has a mysteriously good feeling about the offering, almost as if she has somehow made someone somewhere very happy. The world feels a little bit more sparkly. Now we are just waiting for the secret society. And we're going to go, um, let's buy some apparel. Because I want to get all of that unlocked in Kaz. You can also research the local secret society and maybe it will tell us something about it. But I've done the secret society before. All you have to do is leave a good offering at the statue and someone will come to you around midnight. Although Carla might be a vampire. Okay, if your horses ever end up off the lot, even slightly, you have to call them back onto the lot or they will wander around and basically not get fed. Oh no, we're about to turn into a vampire and we're at class. Well, hopefully she doesn't come back early. Kind of think she might, though. I know they come back early in order to age up. Okay, it says becomes thirsty and... Okay, she, is she changing? All right. Best place to change into a vampire. Right in the burning sun. Oh, yes, and your outfit is terrible. Why are you going outside? Go back out here. Go inside. <laughs> the horse is making her go outside. All right, we got to change your talent points so that you no longer burn in the sun. Okay, so this is what happens basically if you are an occult and then cure yourself. It actually refunded all of my points. I expected all the things to be purchased, but no, it gave me a complete refund, which is actually better. So now I can choose my weaknesses and my power points, but you do not lose your status. See, I'm still a grandmaster. I still have 58 power points and I have to take five weaknesses, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. All right, first thing we get, sun resistance. Manipulate life spirit is nice. Oh, I liked the, I like this one. Carla will never drink from other Sims on her own when they are low in thirst. The threat of entering into a frenzy at extreme stages of thirst should give every vampire pause. Tame thirst calms the vampire, meaning Carla will never go into a frenzy or drink from Sims in an uncontrolled manner. Yeah, um, because when I was a teen my uh don't drink from sims in so many days got ruined because she went into a frenzy despite not having low thirst so that one would be good uh her fun doesn't increase her fun doesn't decrease anymore that one might be a good one too and i'm going to take the supernatural speed because that's my favorite all right, we no longer have to worry about aging because we are going to be a young adult for as long as we are a vampire. And we have to do the vampire ones. We have already finished vampire family. We need to do master vampire, which is just survive for an additional 20 days as a vampire. And then good vampire, which is don't drink without permission for 14 days in a row. So that gets me zero out of 14. And surviving as an additional 20 days as a vampire, I have zero out of 20. Okay. Well, we have to start over and at least do 20 days as a vampire. And then we also have to purchase all of the perks. So these are the ones that we do not have. That's a lot, actually. And unfortunately, the best way to get these perks is either to win vampire duels or to drink from other Sims using Manipulate Life Spirit. Um, yeah, that is going to be a bad thing. <laughs> because we can't do that at least until 14 days go by. 
Okay, detect personality does give me a tiny bit. Oh yeah, we have to go to that organizational meeting, don't we? Yeah, they started at 3 p.m. Oh well. Okay, they are out here. And in order to join the art society, hopefully this is not bugged, we must befriend these people and then ask them if we can join. And uh, I have had so much trouble doing this in the past. Hopefully we can do it. Usually I have to cheat this and I'm really trying hard not to use any cheats. Oh, there it is right there, right away. Ask to join art society. That almost never shows up for me. Okay, now I'm a member of the Art Society. I think it was because I was trying to do it as a teen and it was not letting me. I, so I think that was the bug is that if you do it as a teen, then for some reason it doesn't recognize you. Okay, we can take five photos. Gain a skill in any art skill. Um... The only problem is that I have like max in every skill. That's going to be hard to do. Do I have an art skill that doesn't have, oh, maybe guitar? Does that count? Uh, that's not really an art skill. It's a creative skill. I already have painting and photography maxed. Maybe flower arranging would count? Well, let me see if guitar counts. We'll get a, a skill in guitar. If I had my guitar... Oh, there it is. Oh, it did count. Okay. So, yes. And <laughs> guitar is an art skill. All right. And we'll do a pop art painting because that's another thing that they're asking me to do. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to join all of these societies and I'm going to max them out and then try to maintain them for as long as I'm in this school. That may be difficult... But I don't think it will be because of my status as a vampire, especially because she doesn't need to sleep, ever. Okay, we can also view art, and that helps. A bro? No, she's not a bro. Okay, supposedly the debate club is having some kind of get-together here, but I don't see them. This also tends to happen to me. Alright, well, I might just have to wait for them to have a debate seems like they're not showing up here. There are other university students here, but I'm not sure if they're part of the debate club. Hey, you took my Plasma Jane! Although I don't think that I can actually drink it because she probably will get sick from it. I know she can't eat food, but does the drinks also count? Probably. Okay, looks like the Plasma Janes are fine, but they really don't do that much. Well, they decided on where to come for drinks and then didn't show up. All right, well, that's okay. We'll go to a debate if they ever have one, and hopefully we can join the organization then. Really, we're not in a hurry. Cheerful. Uh, no, I don't want to be cheerful either. I don't want to be any of these traits, to be honest. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do today is actually do our presentation. Because if I don't remember to do that, she'll get a bad grade. Did she steal something autonomously? Is it, if Vlad says, I heard you like to steal things, I don't think I want you in my home anymore. Yeah, she stole something. <laughs> Whoops. That actually helps her reputation go down, and I want to maintain a bad reputation. Because that helps in getting promotions, believe it or not. All right, what I really need to do is find something that is a career that does not benefit from being in university. I think I have not done Fisherman, 5 to 9 a.m. This one is a part-time job, and I might be able to do this outside of my classroom time. I think it would be easier to do the 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. because definitely no classes are during that time. And you automatically enter at level three. I have convinced boss to give bonus or negotiate a bonus. And what that does is it actually improves your performance. I don't have the 
ability to bribe my boss for performance, though, is my reputation. Yeah, my reputation is only bad. So I need to decrease my reputation. So first we'll try convincing him to give us a bonus. And see that makes our performance go up as well. And then negotiate a bonus is not available. Okay. Can we do celebrity ask to badmouth? We can. Our butler can badmouth us. And we can also do that for Patchy maybe. Oh, this one. Um, yeah, I do not want to get married right now. Uh, Carla's just going to say under what conditions. I don't even need the money, but hey. Well, we can always make enemies out of Patchy. Oh, he's non-committal. And actually, uh, it doesn't matter if we start fights anymore because we no longer have that problem with trying to maintain our conflict resolution like we did when we were a teenager. So yeah, this will be easier. And we're going to fight Patchy. Okay, now we have an atrocious reputation. And now we can bribe boss for job performance. This is what I wanted. Basically because you can do this over and over and over again as long as you have money. And look, I have the bar maxed out. I don't know if I should require her to go to work. She maxed the bar. And she gets to enter Fisherman at level 3 because it's a part-time career. Okay, the other one we couldn't do as a teen for whatever reason was be a diver. Alright, and that one is average and we are also level 3. Now the thing about the diver career is that you can purchase special things in Sulani in order to get promoted. And I didn't have to do that since... I am already level three, so I probably should go purchase those items before I level up the diver career. Ah, but there is a spirit core meeting going on. Okay, so we're going to go here. Vampiric run here doesn't work. Okay, gotta make a note to myself not to use that. Oh, she's a rival. She's not one of the spirit core. Whoops. Okay, righteous arrival. Okay, there's a spirit core person. I was about to say, watch all of these people be rivals and not a single one of them be a spirit core member. Okay, we can actually ask to join the spirit core. Okay, I was wondering if I could be members of multiple ones at the same time because they all provide their own individual benefits. Okay, and it didn't make me leave the art society. All right, that's awesome. Oh, it's the cheerleading day thing. Hmm. Oh, Carla's nosy. Sure, that actually makes it easier to do that other... Uh, sure, she's nosy. <laughs> that, that's actually funny. I'll take nosy. I don't know how she got that other than just introducing herself to a bunch of people. Okay, I'm seeing if I can do this as a young adult and get a score. Probably not, but hey, might as well try. I got a score of 147? Wow! And all I am is an adult. Okay, where is the judge? Where is the judge? Where is the judge? Don't see. I thought there was a competition judge. No, I could have sworn there was a judge. Well, Stuart is here. There is no judge. And it finally worked. I finally got a score, even though it looked like they did nothing. Well, I guess we will be leaving this party because, yeah, the score person is not here. Oh, there's the source of the fireworks. Oh, there's a secret society member. No, no, don't go away. I want to introduce myself. Oh, come on. It screwed up. Okay, I was doing a influence emotions and I didn't realize that it would immediately affect her and make her lose her secret society member status. Ah, uh, all right, well, I guess we're going to have to do that again. Okay, I had to look this one up.
I don't think you need to be in the diver career, but if you see a buoy with a green X at the top, that is a shallow water buoy and it won't have the option to purchase the items that you need. If you find one out in the deep water, it will have a red X on it and then you can purchase dive gear. It doesn't go in your inventory, so I think you just need to purchase it in order to do the underwater photos and spear fishing and scuba diving for seashells or treasure. Well, time to try the ultimate horse competition again. Oh, we got the silver medal and I didn't have it active. I did not have it active. Ah, oh, well, that sucks. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So it did not matter that I didn't have it active. All right. Well, then the horses can do what they want. Uh, it doesn't matter if I get a gold or not. And yeah, we have four horses that are just going to hang around for a while. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to one of the debate members. And I don't see an opportunity to join. Maybe I can only join two? Okay, I'm going to guess that that is why this secret society member disappeared is that I have too many organizations. I guess two is the limit. It seems kind of restrictive, but I know there's a limit to how many clubs you can join. It doesn't say there's a limit to how many of the organizations you can join in Discover University. So I'm just gonna guess that it's two and we can work with that. So basically what I'll do is I'll level this up as much as possible they go they have three levels and once you get to the third level you get certain benefits and then i'll just leave the organization at that point and move on to the next one one thing i need to do is put up banners on our sports arena and then also go to the rivals and do the same thing i have vampiric run enabled why aren't you running okay this is actually turning out to be a good thing is that for some reason, Carla is getting negative reputation from stealing and then having people talk to her about it. So having her be a klepto was a good thing. Okay, I just discovered that for the ultimate horse competition, there's a different trophy. So yeah, I'm going to have to get bronze and gold. That's not going to be easy. Oh, we got gold. Okay, now I have silver and gold. I don't know why last week I couldn't even place. Okay, so now we just need bronze. Maybe it's because Carla is a vampire. Maybe that's what's making me get the horse trophies is that she is a vampire. Oh, that's kind of sneaky. All right, well... Um, I guess I cannot put them in the thing like I can put the other things in the thing. I can't drag them in live mode. Ugh. All right. Well, <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, I reloaded my game. Something must have happened when I was going to join the Secret Society. And now I'm able to ask to join the Debate Guild. Okay, and now I'm a member of the Debate Guild. I don't know if I could join the Secret Society as well. It might have something to do with me being famous or my championship horses, but it seems like people get stuck clapping for me. It annoys me because actually I want to have a bad reputation and it keeps going back up. All right, so we've maxed out the diver career and also maxed out the bar. We can quit that one. I don't think there's another one that we can do though. Okay, I don't know where you can get horse ambrosia, but I can take my regular ambrosia and make it into a horse brosia treat. I know for the pet ambrosia for the dogs and cats, you have to make it with the veterinary skill. And actually, I think you can just buy it. 
I don't know about horse ambrosia though. Okay, in Brindleton Bay, you can just buy a pet treat that's ambrosia, but for horses, nope, this is the only way I think. All right, so we're going to bring butterscotch back to life. And the reason for this is that butterscotch will be able to live as an elder and then pass away again. And that's really the only way to get a horse that's a ghost out of your household. And there we go, butterscotch is alive again. And another reason why I did that is because I think maybe the person who came over to have me join the secret society got distracted by either my famousness or the horse's famousness or my vampire spell. So what I'm doing is one, not casting the vampire spell and two, putting on my celebrity disguise, which is so annoying to wear, but hey, at least people won't react to me like a celebrity and also making sure that the horses cannot get inside. So hopefully the secret society member when they show up will not be distracted. Yeah, even though it says that he's already an open book to me, it is still giving me vampire experience. Oh, the secret society member people are here. Is it going to work this time? Do I need to be asleep or something? Maybe it only works right at midnight. In which case, this is the end of the week. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Well, well, never mind. Maybe they are going to ask me to join. Okay, we visit on behalf of those who greatly appreciate your generous offering. If your heart is pure, we invite you to join us and learn our secrets. Okay. And then we get our secret society robes. And we have joined the Order of Enchantment. Well, that confirms it. You can join all four societies at once. <laughs> That's too much. Well, it would be too much if Carla wasn't a vampire. But anyway, as I said before, this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>